And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Callista Thresh. We're going to try out a brand new deck today that I uh, put together. Um, so let's kind of talk about it. So what we have here, well, first, I guess what I should mention um, is that today is no Targon Tuesday, the newest uh, day of the week for the time being. You know, we have Meme Tier Monday and Rank Up Sunday here on the stream. And we're going to spend a day um, each week, Tuesdays, like where we don't play any Targon decks whatsoever because there's just, uh, you know, Targon's just the best region and there's so much Targon um, everywhere. But um, so that this has been a refreshing day. No Targon Tuesday. All right, so this Callista Thresh deck, basically what we have is, you know, like Callista, Wraith Caller, Shadow Isles, Aggro kind of stuff. Uh, you know, we'll have our, our Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker, we got Mist Wraith, um, but I'm splashing Demacia for these two cards. These two cards are just amazing, Sharp Sight and Single Combat. And so like, that's what I think is maybe the best splash if we if we splash any kind of region with our Wraith Caller deck. I feel like Demacia may be our way to go getting these spells. Cause I think one, one thing, one weakness that this deck has is elusives. And right now there are tons of elusives in the format. And so I think Sharp Sight is like the premium, especially with the nerf to Pale Cascade, Sharp Sight is now the premium two mana spell to be playing. Plus, there's lots of uh, smaller champions. By smaller, I mean like 3 3 for Aphelios, 2 2 Twisted Fate, you know, Ezreal's a 1 3, Zoe's a 1 1. Lots of smaller champions that single combat can help you uh, fight. So, like, we can have a good two mana removal spell for, for champions, and then also Sharp Sight to be able to block elusives. So, I think both of those cards and being in the two mana slot can help maybe fill up some holes that a deck like this would have. Also, besides Callista, I'm going. I'm not playing Elise. I'm playing Thresh as my other champion because, again, those smaller champions. You know, like Aphelios. You, it's a three-three. Thresh can challenge Aphelios just fine. You know, we can challenge Twisted Fate and everything. And plus, those all those decks are playing a whole bunch of small units. Um, also, so like there's there can be even like a, like their small units, my small units could be a lot of units dying for leveling up Thresh. So I want to have those two together. Um, and then at the top end, we're going to have Ledros Atrocity combo. So we're going to have that to be able to help finish games out. Uh, but then we're going to just kind of try some Shadow Isles aggro stuff. I like, I wanted Stygia and Onlooker in here because not only is it a good, you know, 4-1 Nightfall Fear or something like that's good, but I think it, it works well with a couple of cards. It works well with Stalking Shadows. Like I'm playing this over Arachnoid Horror because it only costs one mana. So I think it, it's easier to kind of throw out multiple copies with Stalking Shadows. But I think that it, with it being a 4-1, it could work well with single combat also. You know, like we could we could play it as a 4-1, we attack, they don't block because it's fearsome. And then, you know, it's, it's about to turn into a 2-1, but before it does, we single combat it away and kill something. I thought that could be a pretty cool little combo. All right, but anyway, let's get to it. Let's play some Callista Thresh. We'll see how it does. You know, like, like I said, like this is just a brand new deck I just made today that um, I think could be pretty good. All right, Aphelios, Zoe, with Bilgewater. Bilgewater, of course, um, the, the reason to play Bilgewater <clears throat> is Boxtopus, the best two drop for Aphelios. So this deck should be pretty good. Maybe get a Caretaker. Nope, no Caretaker yet. Or that's that's why I meant Curse Keeper. We have Caretaker. Sorry, I meant Curse Keeper. So perfect. We drew Curse Keeper. Only a fool would enter battle like a pair. So we have our best turn one, turn two, turn three. It's our time. Yes. Everyone's a garden. It's just worth it to do this. And just get all this damage in. Worst case scenario is they have Aphelios, right? If they don't have Aphelios, I like our chances, but they have Aphelios. Okay, good. No Aphelios. Because, you know, Aphelios also brings along, the, you know, a 3-4 challenger. Or, you know, then, like, the next turn, then they're, like, killing this. That's a great card, especially if they get the 2-1 challenger. Uh, 
Um, that that card, you know, could take out both of my Mistrates and heal their Nexus. Do I just attack immediately? Before they can play more things. They grow up so fast. Believe or burn. Yes, please just make those blocks and don't play any spell. No! <laughs> Go back and make those other blocks. Take the nine. Yes, take the nine. Don't don't play anything. No. No getting touch. Close. Mountain speaks to those who listen. We, we shall hear their freeze in the So the problem with playing Callista right now is boxed puss, but I guess I do have a backup Callista. Gift, use it well. If only they saw it as you do. I have a feeling they're gonna have a crazy turn. Stories of coils encircling the world. So what was this from? This was from Mountain Scryer. So they still have a celestial card that costs three or less from the Fangs, and then they have this other celestial card from this other Mountain Scryer. These gems grant a wearer harmony. Oh. Alright, so I didn't... I didn't play like the Warden's Prey to fight with single combat because of Pale Cascade, but you know now they don't have the mana for Pale Cascade. I'm gonna just let that happen. And then single combat fight. And I guess it'll just be a 3-3. Three, three. I can't like hush or anything. Still have lethal. There we go. It's possible they had pill cascade, right? Like if they would have had that extra blocker, they would have been able to pill cascade and block one of those. Twisted fizz. Alright, so buy Ledros and probably buy Caretaker. I mean, obviously, I love Caretaker. Y'all know that I love Caretaker, but this, you know, just doesn't seem like necessarily the best Caretaker hand. It could have been buy Wraithcaller. Maybe I could have, I could have mulliganed Wraithcaller instead. But I'm, I'm glad we mulligan Caretaker, because we just found another. Okay, so they discarded Get Excited and Rummage. I'm not really playing any Nightfall cards. I don't really know why I'm waiting... Us. 
I just have more information, you know, by the time I actually cast the Stalking Shadows, we have more information about, like, what, what we have, what we need, like, that kind of stuff. Yay, we didn't miss Allegiance. I was a little worried about missing Allegiance, cause, considering all we've drawn are Shadow Isles cards. So I was a little worried about that. Well, Thresh is pretty good. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna attack with the Bark Beast. It's unlikely that nothing dies, right? None of my stuff dies. The Sprayfin didn't just grab that, did it? Did they just... Did Sprayfin just grab that suit up? Was that the last guard over here? I wish I could rewind and see. Was that the... Sprayfin didn't grab suit up, did it? It can't, can it? I wouldn't think it could. Yeah, I, w I would not think that Sprayfin should be able to grab suit up. So that that could not have been the last card, could it? Can you improve perfection? It had to have been the card they drew for turn that was like the the second to last card, and then this. So this has to be the Sprayfin card. This card right here. Can you improve perfection? All right, I'm at four. So that was the spray fin card, was a tariff improvement. this before. Yeah, so they'll, they'll kill my Thresh. So now I, I definitely don't need to just do something to level up Thresh. They're going to kill it there. But this is why... Yeah, it's going to be Sharp Sight on top. I mean, this is why I'm splashing Sharp Sight in single combat, right? Like, we didn't have those spells, but, like, imagine us having a Sharp Sight here. Like, that would have, would have been amazing. But we didn't. But that's that's why I'm, I'm splashing these cards in Demacia. So, most likely Burn Spell to kill us. It's a good game. Too many three and four mana units for us. And none, none of our spells. So they got us. The purple fishes are good. Okay. So playing a mirror type match. Don't really see these decks around too much anymore. And I'm gonna so I'm gonna just save the two spell mana for the sharp sight, and then go, you know, Callista, Wraith Caller, Thresh. Oh, 
So I mean, my that like that one one's dead anyway. But this saves a lot of life on my side. What's up, Super Beast? GGS. Someone else is doing the same stuff that we're doing. And I, I, you know, I don't want to trade the four threes right now for multiple reasons. You know, I don't want to make these park beasts into being three power yet, and I want to have stuff dying after I have Thresh in play also. Make these blocks go to eight. Or take eight, not go to eight. Sorry. Great. Make these blocks take eight. These last two games, have, we have really, like, <laughs> we've really needed Curse Keeper these last couple of games. Uh, you're, you know, like, our opponents showed us, like, the power of Curse Keeper. Um, you know, like, that's that's where, like, last game, you know, had nothing on, on turn two at all. Um, and, yeah, Curse Keeper, Curse Keeper pretty good. All right, so we're going to um, be able to get another Callista into play, thanks to Thresh. And so I could keep Thresh alive. But I'm going to have Thresh die to grow my Bark Beast. So we're going to make this challenge here. And I'm basically going to use the Sharp Sight to protect Callista. That's my current plan. Exactly. Yeah, Tar Targon is is too good of a region, and so we play Targon all the time, and so that's what we're we're having a day of the week where we're not playing the the best region Targon. So this is no Targon Tuesday. Hey, Nimble Sloth, um, maybe check out this link here. This has a whole bunch of, you know, it's for newer players, but it should, should have a whole bunch of resources there. And I, and I think, if I remember correctly, there's, like, a link to, like, some, some budget decks for new players, I think. Alright, so I don't need to immediately um, just butcher, kill the onlooker to level up Callista. I don't need to do that immediately. See what else we got. Cuz 
I'm expecting them to kill to kill this curse keeper to grow that. Yep. Glad, no, attack with that 3 2. Go ahead. That's not a good block. I mean, like the, I mean, I guess like the, like the one one just didn't need to block, right? That was the thing about that. Okay, well they found they who endure, so GGs. All right, so we lost the mirror. They out curse keepered us, but we still had our champions pull us ahead. But you know, they who endure ends the game. <laughs> no, no vengeance. No, we, I, I'm not playing vengeance. So I, I did not design this deck to defeat they who endure. I haven't played against they who endure in weeks, but you know, we we did this this time. Caretaker is too good. I wish I'd had a different, you know, I wish we had a, a different one drop. You know, or something else, Caretaker, if we can find the, you know, like Warden's Prey or Curse Keeper or something like that. It's our, time. our game that we won, we had Curse Keeper. <laughs> these, these games that we've lost, we have not had Curse Keeper. I think, I think that's a very important card for us. So it's definitely looking like. I'm just gonna pass. If they wanna pass. They're just playing parlay. They're gonna. Like they they can pale cascade and block, but I mean that's still just you know me trading. It's not it's not like a bad trade for me. I'm happy to get that pale, pale cascade out of their hand. Never lost a fair game. Blue as the serpentine. So that gives me Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Oh, I did that three, three. The Warren's Prey gives me something to caretaker. Everyone's a garden. Playing a lot of Bilgewater cards. Yes, I know they could block the caretaker. Sunway. 
I wonder what kind of blade fragment we're, we're gonna get. Alright, so that's gonna get three, four Boxtopus. Three, four Boxtopus is pretty awesome. I wonder if it would be possible to play more than three sharp sites. No, okay, it didn't grab the... Okay, it didn't grab the card I was expecting. Yeah, I love I love the voice acting on Boxtopus too. But yeah, I, I agree, Banderson. Banderson says the presentation of this game is really good in general. And I completely agree. I really like so many little aspects of this game. So I'm hoping that with this attack with atrocity. Why are you here? You know, we'll have them. I'm hoping. Put him down to two. Keep up, keep up. Okay, just one mana. I think we're gonna have him. All right, twisted fate Ophelia's down. GG's. All right, two and two. Yeah, it, it, there's a little variance, but <clears throat> it's there's a little variance depending on where you are. But yeah, you said like you win 15 LP, lose 20 LP. Um, it's you win between 15 and 25 each time, and you lose between 15 and 25 each time. It does matter. Like if you if you play against somebody who's has a ton more LP than you, then you'll gain a bunch. If, if you play against somebody who has less, then you'll lose more. But on average, they have you lose more than you win on average. If you, you know, just like playing against the same thing, you will lose more than you win. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to keep all this. This is, this is a good curve, but it's also a hand that can certainly lose to Fiora. So that's, that's the card I want to see the least from them is Fiora, because I'm going to have a whole bunch of small units. Fiora loves playing against small units. River shape the land and give it life. I mean, I guess I don't have to attack with the Warden's Prey. I could have also sacrificed the Warden's Prey to the Butcher here and then just attacked with that. Which maybe I should have done. But if they go, like, Repost to save this, I could, I could just single combat the Warden's, pr Warden's Prey away. Strike, we will reform. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. There's nowhere to hide. So I go. So I go. And I run so far away. I want to go home! <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, what do I want to do? I want to keep them from drawing a card. Okay. What form will the waters take? So I want to go curse keeper caretaker, of course. But I actually don't have the room for a curse keeper caretaker. I have better room for. We can do something like this. Give us a little bit more room. I don't want, so basically, you know, I don't want Thresh to die to repost. <clears throat> um, yeah, and I, I need to pull all these things. I know, like, you know, normally you're saying, well, why, why don't you pull your stuff first and then have Callista afterwards? Well, because of the lifesteal barrier card. A gift from the river folk. We, we shall be Hmm. I guess I should have gone Butcher instead of the... Yeah, that was... I, I guess I didn't really think about that either. Just because of... Yeah, so I should have gone... I should have Butchered this 2-1 so that I would have had... Yeah, so that any two of those three were lethal instead of just... I needed specifically those two to be lethal. So I could have had three lethal attackers. Yeah, so I, I should have gone Butcher over that 2-1. Because of that. Yeah, so that if I lose this game, it's going to be because of that decision. It's it's all about judgment. Do they play judgment? Um, I I mean I I how do I like how do I play around judgment? I don't know if I can play around judgment. I don't know if there's anything to do to play around judgment. If I do this, they, they, I think it's more likely, so no, I don't think I play around Judgment. I think it's just more likely that they have, more likely they have the Lifesteal Barrier than they have Judgment. Water changes, but never breaks. And yep, no Judgment. The Guru follows. So yeah, they so basically they're gonna have to go lifesteal barrier and then single combat. And I can't really stop that. They they can do that. They can do lifesteal barrier single combat. Can't really stop that. But so like that's that's how they survive. They've already played two single combats. So they'd have to have the third single combat, and usually people play like one lifesteal barrier. Okay, and they do not have it. So there we go. There was Callista Thrash. We ended up three and two. I, I liked our version. I think that, that this was a, a good splash. I do. I think that the sharp sight plus single combat was a good splash. We saw that like Curse Keeper was really important to our games. Um, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of uh, Curse Keeper all the time. But when we did, our deck was better. But Thresh was awesome. You know, like there was a lot of small units. Like Thresh was really good for us. Obviously, Callista's really good. We didn't do anything too much with our top end. We did win a game, though, because of Atrocity. But we didn't uh, Ledros Atrocity anybody. This is kind of our, our They Who Endure Atrocity um, part of our deck. But, you know, it's Ledros Atrocity. 
but I think our deck was solid. You know, like this, I think this was a, a pretty solid non Targon deck, and I really liked the splash. Both Sharp Sight and Single Combat were incredible. So there we go. There's a there's a solid uh, new deck with Callista and Thresh. Um, you know, that's that's kind of what I, I want to, to always do. Find, you know, look for, for new decks that can still uh, put up some wins in this Targon metagame. And that's what we're doing here on No Targon Tuesday. Um, so, yeah, I, I put together that Lulu Fiora and the Callista Thresh. And I was very happy with both of those two decks of, of how they turned out. Um, yeah, so very, very happy about that. All right. But that's all I got here for Callista Thresh. So those of y'all on YouTube, y'all know that drill. Leave those comments. Those comments really help the channel and they brighten up my day. Let me know if y'all liked the deck. I really hope you did. Um, and if, if you know if you play yourself or you know if you've been looking for a Thresh deck or anything like that, um, you know, or just other suggestions for no for no targ on Tuesday for next week. If you got any suggestions for me to play next week, um, you know, leave them there in chat or sorry on on uh, leave a comment about them. Or you can hit me up on the Discord. You know, there's the link to the Discord there in the video description as well. All right, but that's all I got here for Callista Thresh. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.